I'm Scott Mason. We head to the Chesapeake Bay in the next half hour for a look at what some consider an endangered species, the commercial fisherman, the waterman, plagued, he says, by government bureaucracy and overregulation. We also look at the bay itself and how it too is threatened, but this time, according to some, by lack of regulation. And later, another type of fisherman, one who grows fish on farms. We thought we'd start, though, not with fish, but with boats. Grover Lee Owens is part of a dying breed of boat builders, still cultivating his craft in Deltaville on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay. The real tools of Grover Lee's trade are his hands and his mind, but every boat he builds also comes equipped with Grover Lee Owens' heart and his soul. You still find a few people that still want that wooden boat. They, uh, they still like that wooden boat. Every piece that goes in that is handmade. Every piece of it. I started in 1966. I built my first boat. And I've been building boats ever since. Um, I guess you'd say I, I like it, that's all. Uh, I work on it mostly by myself. and. Uh, you're building uh, anywhere from uh, a 20-foot skiff to a 50-foot boat. A 50-footer to me for a man by himself is very smart of a task. One time in Deltaville, uh, you had as many as 20 boat builders. It's not before I was left. That's right. I've been here 56 years, and I've seen a lot of changes since I uh, started out. And uh, I guess that's just like anything else. It's you're just changing with time. Time changes everything. so that you don't build a wooden boat, uh, the fiberglass and steel is going to take off. There's still going to be boats built, but might not be too many of them built out of wood. The hardest part uh, of boat building a boat, I think, is getting started on the bottom, getting the bottom started. Uh, I don't have any plans. All of this is in my head. A bit of it's, you know, it's just something that you, you got in your head and that's it. Uh, I've built uh, many boats. And as far as I know, I ain't never wrote nothing down well on none of them. It's something that fascinates me. And on every one that you build, you'll find something that you're going to do different on it. It's just something about the boat that is different than anybody else. It's, it's just something different about that boat that uh, and nobody else has, that's all. Wherever you see that boat that you built, you can tell her from anybody else. It's just something about that boat that is part of you. I, I've built some boats uh, back uh, 15, 18 years ago. And they look just as good today as the day they left you. And that really makes you feel good. I got to like it for to do what I do. That's the only answer that I can give. is in it, well, <laughs> I think you'd give it up and go do something else. And, uh, I don't know, every now and then you 
maybe take a take a look at it and see how it's coming along, how it looks to you, and it's going to finish up right. And uh, it's a wonderful feeling when you get through with it because you make a many step up and down and drive a many nail before you get through with it. Yes, sir. I guess I was 10, 12 years old before I knew what a hamburger was, because all we had to eat was feet. And I don't know, it's just something about living on the water that, or living close to the water that, in the summertime, I mean, that's just a tradition, I guess. It's, it's mighty nice, I know that. I can tell my work from anybody else, the Connie K. I didn't build the hull of that boat, but I put the pilot hooks on that boat. And that's my style of pilot hooks. And nobody can take that away from me. And a lot of them try to copy it, but ain't none of them come up with the same thing yet. It's just like, you know, you, you creating something. It's a part of you. Just like a man painting a picture. That's a part of him, painting that picture. Well, but he sees that, that well, it, it's a part of him and building boats the same way. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. And I think that to, to be able to go run off here and catch a mess of fish when you want them and bring them home and cook them on the grill, ain't nothing in the world no better than that is. Yes, sir. It's very peaceful. Very peaceful. 